Be a champion in any sport takes dedication, commitment, and a relentless trust and confidence in your ability not to fail. With an overall record of 54-1, and 6-1 and in glory, current middleweight champion Artem Levin fits that definition. With 50 wins and one draw from 55 professional fights, reigning glory world middleweight champion Artem the Lion Levin is possibly the best pound-for-pound -pound striker on the planet. As well as being glory middleweight champion, the 28-year-old Russian is a three-time Muay Thai champion. Levin comes from a coal mining town in Siberia, but recently moved to San Diego to coach some of the top MMA fighters in the world. Levin's style centers on defensive mastery and devastating counterattacks. With Matrix-style moves, he's a keen student of the art of boxing, obsessively re-watching Roy Jones Jr. and Muhammad Ali fights in his teenage years. And you can see their influence. At the legendary Los Angeles Forum, he showcased his talent beating three world-class opponents in one night to win the Glory World Middleweight title. In San Diego, Levin will defend his belt against Simon Bad Boy Marcus. Marcus actually holds a win over him in Muay Thai rules, but this is glory. Levin is the reigning champion and the lion is hungry for revenge. Artem, how you doing? How are you? Good, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we are uh, currently sitting in the spot where you're gonna be defending that belt against a person who has defeated you before in Simon Marcus. In your preparation, do you care who you're fighting or do you just concentrate on what you do in getting ready for a fight? Usually, first of all, for me, my reaction, my best weapons, uh, and of course, uh, I find partners for sparring mm -hmm. who similar Simon Marcus mm -hmm. or and who use uh, his style and I'm get ready for his weapons this is not mm, not new for me Levin scored the knockdown early for every fight this is different preparation and for Simon Marcus of course this is special for him Your first fight with Simon, looking back on it from your performance, what do you need to do to improve from that fight to this fight? You will see what I uh, will be do in the in next fight with him. Glory rules uh, make everything for me. <laughs> yeah. This is glory rules, and his uh, his main weapon. This is clinch. Mm -hmm. This is elbows, but now without clinch. I respect Muay Thai, this is my favorite sport, mm -hmm. and I respect this is culture. And uh, for my skills, this is much better. Link. Yeah, this is distance, and, uh, and uh, Glory Rules um, do everything for, for other fights. But uh, somebody, uh, sometimes uh, a referee can, <laughs> can uh, help Simon Marcus, because sometimes I uh, I watched his fights against Joshing. It was a lot of clinch for, for Glory Rules. I don't understand why. I cannot understand this. And uh, I think uh, rules for everybody. Mm -hmm. and, uh, everybody must, must use these rules and must respect these rules. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to win on May the 8th? Because this can't just be another fight. This is, uh, this is my life. I build my career, I build my life, and uh, this is my first defense, uh, Glory Bell. And, uh, of course, for me, this is a very important fight, and uh, I, I get re I'm ready for win or dry trying. This is words in my, my heart, and uh, I'm get ready for die for Uwe. He never beat me, nobody beat me, because nobody can touch my face or touch my, my body. My defense, best of the best in the world. I show you a very good fight, very interesting fight, and we'll see who will be the best.
you talk about words straight from your heart, what does it feel like to lose? I don't think about this. This is uh, impossible. That's a great answer. <laughs> this is war, this is a fight, and this is the baddest combat sport on the planet. And right here is Glory's middleweight champion.